Hey guys, it's Anne over at Plant Obsessed, and I'm going to be doing an update on my um, reproduction or survival bin, uh, where everybody has just basically been left in their own castings. It's been almost a month now, and I have the African Nightcrawlers, the European Nightcrawlers, and the Red Wigglers. Um, the weight, which was what I was basing the experiment off of, is going to be a little off because I also had a tail issue with the um, African Nightcrawlers. But uh, so that's going to kind of screw up how I had planned on doing my experiment. Really doing a good job and it's not affecting them at all being in the castings if they're going to just, um, you know, shrivel up and die. Who knows? Uh, that was the plan. So I said I'd check back in a month. Today is the 16th, so that will be good enough. I'm gonna get over there and move the camera and hold on. We'll be back in a minute. Pretty much just gonna flip the bins uh, over onto this little lid and um, see if I can find anybody home. Just kind of dump the whole thing out here. Got one worm already. In theory, there should be two. Uh, unless, of course, there's been some eggs that have hatched. So these are the African night crawlers. All right, so right, right there. So as you can see, they're both still alive um, and wiggly. For the love of God, don't lose another tail, come on. But you can see this guy's tail is actually kind of skinnier. Um, almost like that's the one that lost his tail last time. Um, um, real quick look at them as they're rinsed off and clean now. You can see that this guy here, um, you know, I'm, I'm really not sure. Maybe this guy was the one who lost his tail because it looks kind of not the same color. Um, it's kind of hard to tell. Um, until I dunked them in room temperature water, they were pretty wiggly and now they're like, we're not going to be cute for the camera. The heck with you, lady. Um, all right, so I'm going to go ahead and weigh them here and get this guy picked up. I'm trying to be super, super careful. We don't want to repeat a last time. And... He is 1.6 grams. Okay, zero again. Pick this guy up. And that's 1.2 grams. Okay, now let's go over here and see if we can visualize any, um, let's see if we can find any cocoons. All right, let these guys roam around back in the castings. The castings are so dark, it's hard to see. But I'll spread them out a little bit and see if we can see any. I looked pretty hard last week. I keep seeing like these little tiny red rocks and I get all excited. Like, oh, look, nope, not it. So I'm gonna kinda Leave this out like here. I have not seen any babies, and you can see how dark it is. I've kept it pretty moist, hoping that that would be um, kind of better for them. If there was any food left, it would start to degrade and it would give them something to eat. Really, really wanted to find a cocoon. It's like Easter with worms. I also wonder if losing their tails, you know, if that didn't somehow uh, make them not really want to reproduce. Like maybe they needed their energy to grow their tail back. Okay, I'm just gonna put these guys back. And then I will turn back on when I get the Europeans out. Okay, now I have the European night crawlers out. And uh, just uh, put them in this little cup so they didn't run away from me. Um, okay, come here. Okay, there, there we go. Subject number one. It's very pretty. All right, in the cup you go. 1.4. I suppose I could, I don't know if the skill will let me do that or not. 
This one's quite a bit smaller. Okay, and he goes 0.7. And then as of right now, the only egg I could find is right here. I found a couple. There was like more than one when I was uh, looking last week. But this is the only one I can find right now. You know, refuses to be cute for public. All right, well, I will put these guys back in their bin and I will get out the red wigglers. Okay, now on to the red wigglers. Oh, come on, I just got you clean. Let's not get you dirty again. There we go, buddy. All right, and on you go. Point four. Grab number two. Come Number two. Point five. So point four, point five. However, what we did find, eight cocoons. Eight cocoons that I can find. All varying from almost green to weak tea. That's a color. If the experiment was who can keep on keeping on having babies, then these guys have absolutely won. But that's one month worth. Um, let me know if you think that I should continue on and see if, if there's any babies to speak of. You know, should we keep doing it and, and see if the African night crawlers are breeding? I just don't know about it. Or um, should we call it good and just say that uh, red wigglers breed on a crazy level? Now, people are like, oh, well, maybe maybe those egg or those cocoons were in there before. But I sifted this to below 1 20th of an inch. So uh, let me know if you think we should uh, keep doing this or if we think we proved anything. Um, I'm happy either way. Um, I think definitely the red wigglers are fine just living in their little, I don't know, what is this? Six quart. Um, so, I mean, I think they're happy living in there. I don't think they care at all. Um, the Europeans don't seem like they care too much and other than dropping tails. I don't think the Africans cared too either. So we can keep doing this for another month or two and, and see what we end up with. But uh, let me know if you're interested in seeing anything about that. And uh, if you don't mind, it would be great if you would give this video thumbs up. Let's see if I can do that. And uh, poke the subscribe button. Poke it. Poke it. Poke that subscribe button. Thank you. All right, well, thank you for hanging out with me and my worms, and uh, everybody have a good day.